Um, okay, I will talk about type RM in these videos. I will show you how to create uh, models. Uh, they are called entities in type RM and how we can define relation between them. Maybe I will do some um, query examples using the entity manager. Uh, but to get started, this is the div dependencies. I will put in the description the command that will install these two. So this is the div dependencies. You can just add the names with the dash D flag when you install them. And these are the dependencies. You need to install the reflect metadata. This is um, mentioned in the documentation. You need to import it like in a global place. And for my driver, I will be using SQLite, but you might use MySQL or Postgres, Oracle, anything. And this is also mentioned in the documentation. You need to install the driver to the database you are using. You can use also Mongo, MongoDB. So, and this is TypeRM itself. And the TS node, this is to compile and run uh, TypeScript. And after I installed this, that as a dev dependency, I added it in the scripts. So I will type npm uh, ts node and give it a file name. It will run that in TypeScript. Now this is the folder structure. I have uh, at the root level the app.ts, it's now empty. The readme, the ts config JSON. You might need to add these. So type rm requires us to use decorators and uh, TypeScript compiler by default complains about them, so you need to enable that. The experimental directory uh, decorators and the emit uh, decorator metadata. You need to enable these. And I have the entities folder which holds our models, as I like I said, they are called entities. And this is the database folder, which in my case, the SQL Lite database will be here. And we can just start. So, first thing. I will import the reflect metadata just like this. This will import everything exported from this package and in this file. So I'm then import from type RM the create connection function and the connection interface. Okay, now const app will be a function or a sync function. And it won't accept anything, it will just create a connection type connection this will be equal to await create connection okay create connection um, and this accepts an object create connection it has a promise and I wait I am awaiting that and assigning the result value to connection uh, you, I think in a real application you will wrap this in a try catch but uh, let's just continue and also in a real application, uh, this is where you put your credentials for the connection for the database. You just you, you don't just put them here. For example, if you are using uh, MySQL or Postgres, this is what uh, what it would look like. So the host, the port, username, password, database. You won't just put these here as strings. You will use uh, .env files. You should read about that if you don't know it. But I will be using SQLite. So first thing, you need to define the type. So as you can see, we have Postgres, MySQL, Mongo, uh, SQL Server. But I will be using SQLite. Uh, in case of SQLite, you need to define the path for the database. So in our case, slash db, uh, slash testing, I will call it testing type or m2db. So this is, you know, my case. Uh, this will just establish the connection and create this database. So let me run it. Okay. So node, sorry, npm run node ts, give it the app the ts file. I think it's TS node. Yes, TS node, not uh, node TS. TS node. Hopefully everything is fine. So if you didn't see any error in your case, which means you connected uh, with no errors to the database, uh, in case of SQLite, 
I should see this database. So it's empty now. And I think that's it for the first uh, video, just uh, how to establish connection.